In this video, we're going to talk about what a redox reaction is, and we're going to talk about why it's important to understand redox principles before we can discuss either cell respiration or photosynthesis. So redox is basically a summary of two separate reactions, oxidation and reduction. So read red ox, right? Okay. And basically any time molecules transfer electrons, it's either an oxidation or a reduction reaction. Okay. So when a molecule like a donates an electron or donates what we call a, a hydrogen molecule to another molecule, right? Then that molecule is being oxidized. Okay. So oxidation is the loss of either electrons, electrons or hydrogen. So that's kind of the, the two key definitions. And the way to remember this is with the word oil. Okay. But every time a molecule loses an electron, right, it, it gets rid of it. There has to be another molecule that accepts that electron, right? And this molecule, which is now accepting an electron or a hydrogen, right? It's both work as a definition. This molecule is being reduced. Okay, so when something gains electrons or hydrogen, it is being reduced. So it is the gain of, I'll write E minus or H, right, just to make it shorter, same thing. So what are some examples of these molecules that we're going to see again and again and again in uh, cell respiration and photosynthesis? Well, in cell respiration, we have molecules like NADH and FADH2. These are what we call electron carriers, and they can be oxidized into NAD or FAD, right? Now notice they've lost hydrogens, right? And they also lost electrons because these hydrogens carry electrons, right? And so when you lose hydrogen or when you lose electrons, it is being oxidized. Therefore, we can say that NADH turns into NAD when it is oxidized and NAD turns into NAD dh when it is reduced right because when it gains an electron or a hydrogen then it turns back into its original product fadh then can convert into fad by being oxidized and fad can convert into fadh2 by being reduced and we'll see this over and over and over again uh, an example in photosynthesis is a very similar molecule it is nadph NADPH, which then can turn into NADP. And so when we talk about the light dependent reactions, what we're talking about is the reduction of NADP, right, into NADPH. So I hope that made sense. That was just like a little overview of what oxidation and reduction means, because you're going to be using those terms quite a lot in the next couple of videos.